We know that the evolution of our planet is in the hands of scientists, physicists, cosmologists, biologists. And yet in that environment, women are completely absent. Working in Washington, D.C., less than 20% of members of Congress are women. What we do in Washington, D.C. will impact the rest of the world. Women are in low-level positions in research institutions. My first chemistry class, 2,000 people, there were 10 women. I was convinced that I'd never be able to do it. I'm a parasitologist. She's a specialist amongst the best 10 people in the world. I've never asked for a raise. You're lucky to get what you're given. In China, there is a saying, the female PhD is the third gender. So there's women, men, and the female PhD. Both times I took maternity leave, those jobs ended. I think I've given science a go, but if science doesn't want me, maybe that's it. I've spent 30 years obsessed with studying every day of my life on leadership. What would be different in our world if women were at the leadership table in equal measure? One night, I dreamt of taking a big group of women in science for 20 days on a ship to Antarctica. Antarctica is such a symbol of what's happening on the planet. The most sustainable proposition we have is women at the leadership table. Fabi's leadership style is inspirational. All of you are going to feel uncomfortable at some stage. You know, she can be a bit cavalier. I don't personally like the way that this conversation is going. Anyone else got something you want to share? I'm so frustrated. You should not fit yourself into the current leadership model. You have to change the current leadership model. It's not up to the women to fix it all. It is a systemic problem. I found today really tough. But you're not on a training program, folks. You're on a leadership initiative. Everybody has a plan till you get punched in the face. And we got punched in the face. Even though we were on the ship and it was all about supporting each other. I never told anyone. Even in that environment, this can still happen. As scientists, we work on facts and we need solutions. Every single woman has these stories. Leadership is easy when things are good. The ultimate test is, can you do it effectively when things aren't good? Enough is enough. We shouldn't have to fit into a socio-norm that forces you to sacrifice your true self. Makes you think, oh yeah, I could do that too. And that's when I think I'm a leader.